Good evening across the world, everybody. Good evening. Marungi kung sangen merge the rogo yes solang at yung update talaga chill sil February 28th at seven o'clock. Yes solang magdadam mo at yagi dati talaga already the algo sangen. First, I'm going to introduce uh, Ritter, and then Ritter will go through the updates, and then after that, you know, Ritter will uh, introduce the uh, Mike. We introduce Mike, and Mike will introduce our special guest. Uh, so that's how it's going to work. And don't forget, let's uh, uh, be informed that uh, if you want to call in, uh, I suggest that we wait until after uh, updates, and then if you have any questions, you can call in, call in at 488-4848. Direct to Mutial Teale, the Rena Sulir Adra Eco Paradise, the Lobangedra every Monday at 7 o'clock, or Malm Saul, Estola and Kadeva Time Medical Tour Remir, Kwa Michael Mumsa Diter, and Bolo Mura Program Reader. Okay, Diter. Oh, I'm going to sing at Tulir, Malm Saul, I'm going to sing in my other Ogul or Rensera, El Algob Singing. Ma a minister of Mamma, the announcer last week, Friday, Selbura Air, was saying. El almón en como start el vi ongeru lurior ma ongewa lurior en maru la update. Okay. El al sil se ngual la alborña update ma te ayi del programa rigida o algo ramo o ruli se ayi del update. Okay. En el al sil so será ongeim lurior ra edel clor ma te do para esta sil so so three as of three thirty p.m. es será Friday. El up until el alcil, el alcil se mande el costurior ra el clor mate dob. En la mo 595 el test da kandat ra COVID-19. Ay gay gid el 595 el test de a 55 am le positive. Mantele al tumong ay se gid el 55 ya cumulative number ay gay se se gid ra Sesra dotelo mo el test ra COVID na meron lang na mo 3,781. Adire kal segi dira over the weekend may lalsil sa ang la mo 198 am la mo ngil malubet na test out ra negative ra day five malut malubet na mula taying ra hospital. Okay. So 198 at tigil wag a term tiel was it na mo ngil or mula test negative ra day five Mas eh total recovery dahil kita na mo three thousand one hundred forty. Okay. Mas eh do mes ra o ureng bulgulo asa tiriel current tal active malubeng tiriel current tal active cases ra COVID nineteen elang a six hundred forty one. Okay. Six four one. Ah hindi ko malmol mal six sa tiriel lamos me ra. Eh el alsil sa arnga ra hospital newing a five. P5? P5 are new in a COVID. Two are trigger new in for COVID. Trigger spare COVID. Ese era the announcer of the world that you were saying that the COVID is severe. El angen five are mild. Namo dia are severe or trigger for a small smear. Dirga gama. Dirgo si si will six. Dirgo si si will six. Okay. La most smear. Al COVID au un metam los smear. Okay. Uh, el alta met uh, tirgen nyuying a uh, tetewa ng arsal e eh, imong ardil. Okay. E se uktungura yung hidle vaccination er tir tetero ng birga kalorus. Awa nam lamrus ang bing birga kalua booster ngi. Awa nal birga incomplete lang birga ngil ning ilu awa nal dosra maderna. Hmm. One or two are fully vaccinated in our booster. But again, I see that the other people who are the other class are rather important for our rules. My booster. Okay. There are all there are going to be a lot. Also, when we are going to reveal there are all the doctors are still still not there. Ngamle lori lo bentiras doktor ngalo meser tiga gigi delwal gua mle mewing tiga los meser lo menu hospital gigi, masai gigi dira berlong ale la lu ilkap sengi lakot telbuil la January twenty, elmo set January twenty four ngari the little report tel mer kama masai gigi dira over a weekend, engwal fifty seven nam la mo mewing ra el meser covid. Okay. Oh oi. So, it's 57 as well, or it's the total number, 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 it's the total
whether at the Mlon Yuing and Gobi the Wool, Malubeta, Mlon Yuing and Ganyangot, or still and beat the positive Rabobi. So say he the fifty seven. But I'm Nela say a six or Tira, I'm Lamus Mel, Gobi the Wool. I say. Eh, eleven or Tiri give him law on Yuing. Ah, uh, the mga symptoms are still twelve and eight symptoms. So, mas so, lang is is symptomary kung dimla ka ulang alila ko bida still. Mm. Eh, tiriga ibil eleven ng ng seven or still awal fully vaccinated the booster the ah uh, three ah uh, booster ah uh, fully vaccinated dila al booster di ta fully vaccinated. Yaa wala na still ah under a five barikil. Oh okay. Oh oh. So ang sayi del ng so eleven na out the tiriga ibil fifty seven na. I'll do what thing uh the asymptomatic the okay. asymptom system. See the call or wall or tell our say um close to the lella uh the booster at all rules. Mm. The, uh, the Bruce booster and what say? I say why say. Uh twenty five or still forty three point eight the steer uh as all uh oh oi. A trigel rogu el mlora hospital al le fully vaccinated abulgula wase um at least the seven months maluben taragar al mla ra ubi ra ngerul dosa tin bulgula si trigam la mogiri nga booster tin e bibla kal bolola ya booster palgora miram la mara el momituta a orus mong bira palgora o otia Ah, important sa omrose. Oh, include to tell them the dollar cell booster is missing. Ital immune system ra kung wase. May say. Okay. Ah, fifteen na ah unta ko mong eighteen out ra fifty seven malubeng dory one dory two percent. Oh. Ah, dimla kal vaccinated. Oh okay. Oh oy. Yeah, ah partially vaccinated malubeng the dingi lua one al dos sa mother na malubeng Pfizer am left four. Hmm. Um, other thing, ah, uh, at the end of the day, the still was the fully vaccinated, and the mga mogiri, the mga booster, the mga bol mga booster. Hmm. Uh-uh. Eh, ah, ngarini, at the end of the booster, the... Hmm. And then, while the terror still, and the mga booster, the still sell seals, the bol seer. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. So, the mga, ah, for some reason, and the mga mga loading, it was the... It's mere, mga mga orus. And then uh, we will uh, me test it uh, positive. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. They yeah, are four uh, tirgel uh, 57. Ah, ang rangal ko alam kaya karera kira five. Hmm. Nanda al sabaril marus. I see. Hindi kita ngal kaya lang at mas mer mat ngan yakar lulay mo mo magil mo mungit. Ah, what akam lulay? Tirgel tirgel kita mga karera ngal kaya lang at sa hindi naspil malaos. Ah, orus lang tim lakas pa yung posyat sa mga tirga ng mga kapal. Oh, tulong tayo at tirga under five, hindi lang kapal ng mga orus. Oh, may alam ba sa bisera alipol positive m tadi m lewa sa igit at koma mas tirga tayo nino. Paisay, paisay, okay. Tamlen yui, oh, tamlen yuiing. Ito na bongil. Oh, oh, ito na bongil. Paisay, alam tayo ka adal yuiing al kaya rin ng alga. Sa domes sa riteren ng omsindel saal. Ah, tor tira smear compared to women. Hmm, kung 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 Pati nga maklol at Oo, ite daw para adal Nos men men yu yung Ang araw ba 65 Dira kal 39% Ter stif Ang aringi A 4 Malubeng Ang bato ara 4 Comorbidities Malubeng igal da dulwa Sing Ang aringi ara Ter Ang aringi ang Ang aringi ang Ang aringi ang Okay Oo, so Dira kal legal Wa sing Kung tutelil Wa sing Wa sing Wa sing Tiga ini dia ngaring betul ka raktir masa air, kura alit utara betingir, amat klote elir el sel bolse okmo temus merah kobi, de temus pe el merah hospital. I see. Oh, so temil tiga luasai about thirty nine percent tiga ngaringnya 
I see. Oh, so gora adim le ke gibia update sergin and then by uh oh adilu la sendiado o la ya gidele eger msel bol by bol marege da ada oh oh el adigum last time da ra show etem le aska rather ablu lo se md md so we got md in the la do lo se MD Melgotor Amrigel, Alu Melgotor Vela, Melanga, MD El Dobar El Algosus, Alinga de Melgotor Amrigel Halle, Volitizing. Yes, we have translated Edor Mongave. Aliga Dias Mongale, the Terra Angel. They are a tooling error buying a sewel, buying a sewel, Lol Yu either, buying a sewel translate them. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay. So, let me introduce uh, Michael Player. I give you a little commander, a team leader. That I give you a seventeen member team. I'm the Office of Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response, Rablu Ramirigel HHS, U.S. Health and Human Services. But it's been uh, going on two weeks now that you've been here. Uh, so I'll turn it over to Mike to introduce our special guest. Thank okay. you. And please provide a brief uh, intro as well, Mike. Okay. Well, we've been uh, working here alongside the, uh, the fantastic staff at the uh, Balao National Hospital. And uh, we've been taking care of uh, the patients here in, in Palau. And... Uh, it's been a, a, a real pleasure. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Alex Guerrero. He is a trauma surgeon from New York City who's worked all over the world uh, from the Antarctic to the Congo. He set up a COVID unit in New York City when things were at their worst and most serious. And he is in charge of COVID compliance for a number of television shows for which she received a Daytime Emmy Award. So, uh, Dr. Guerrero. Okay, thank you so much, Commander Player. That was a great introduction. Uh, Diaz, I have to tell you that you're my favorite uh, Palauan radio personality, and I'm a, big fan, I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Keep up the good work, and it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be invited uh, onto your show. Okay, thank you. Let me tell you a little bit about what, what we've been up to here and uh, about what things were like uh, in New York. Okay. So, you know, in New York, in uh, the end of March of 2020, mm -hmm. uh, we were all going about our daily lives, just like all of you. Okay. And, uh, you know, COVID hit us uh, like a ton of bricks. We weren't expecting it. And uh, people thought it was just going to be a flu. And people thought that uh, restaurants were just going to be closed for a little while and nothing was going to be bad. And I remember vividly on uh, March 16th, yeah. the governor of New York, said that all restaurants that night were going to have to close at 8 p.m., and they were going to be closed for two weeks. So I made a reservation at my favorite restaurant because I didn't know, you know, it's going to be two weeks until I can eat there again. And at the end of the meal, the chef came out with a giant uh, rolling cart filled with desserts, and he says, we're going to have to throw these all away, so please help yourself. And I ate more creme brulee that night uh, than, uh, than I would usually admit. Um, and then... Within a week, the hospitals were overrun, and it went from it's a flu that's going to be a nuisance mm. to this is what seemed to be the end of uh, end of the world. Really, it's what it felt like. You know, we had never been in a situation in the United States where the hospitals were overrun. We very quickly had to set up intensive care units, turning entire hospitals into intensive care units, mm -hmm. and uh, working like we had never worked before, and. You know, we didn't know what we were dealing with. We didn't know who who would get really sick. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how this was transmitted. And we didn't really see light at the end of the tunnel. I see. So things were very, very bad there. And, you know, over time we've learned a lot of lessons. And I think we've come to live with COVID uh, in New York City. And I'm hoping that uh, the mistakes that we made and the lessons that we learned we can share with you guys here so that you'll have the best outcomes possible and that COVID will have the smallest impact possible while you guys remain safe. 
I see. So I think that's really the point of our mission is to convey some of that experience. And so far, I think it's been very helpful. Yeah. Uh, a combination of putting people at ease and uh, learning new skills and, and how to deal with this. I see. So what do you think? Uh, do you think we're doing all right here in Palau, you know, the way we set up our programs? No, and no, no. I don't think you guys are doing all right. I think you guys are doing outstanding. And wow. I, wish, I wish you guys would have been in New York. <laughs> I wish I would have known what you guys know in yeah. New York in March of 2020 because things would have been a lot different. But I think you guys are doing amazing. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Um, I, I just can't tell you, I can't tell you enough how, how impressed I am with how, how well a job you guys are doing. Yeah, Dr. Kerr, we are um, a very, very short staff, and I really appreciate the fact that uh, Rita and, uh, uh, and uh, Ed Olm, the those two ladies with you tonight, they've uh, been working for two years now. We've been together when we first started. You know, we go like three times a week. We update the people down to two times a week, and now we're doing it one time a week, and they're doing a fantastic, I, I'd say excellent, like you said. You know, they're doing a excellent job and they're tired and all worn out but they're, they're never going to quit you know they stay there and, and try the best uh, way they know how to uh, keep the public informed and we really do appreciate their efforts uh, in that regards. Oh, I think you guys are doing a great job and I'm really impressed with how transparent the Ministry of Health has been. Yeah. You know I think it puts people at ease to know that, that they're looking out for their well-being yeah. and keeping everybody informed. I think it's really fantastic and commendable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, well, there's uh, the reason why um, we're having. I think we're having you tonight. You're a medical doctor, and and the public last time, last week when we had it, uh, when we had the show, uh, that they requested that you know they would rather talk to somebody with uh, MD. Uh, so I said, well, Rita and Ed Olm said they're going to bring MD, but they didn't. Uh, tell us, you know, that the MD they're going to provide is an uh, um, uh, English-speaking person, you know. <laughs> that's <great. laughs> But that's okay because Adolm and I are going to try to translate or uh, summarize what uh, you're going to say tonight in regards to COVID-19. Yeah, I'm so sorry my Palawan just isn't quite fluent. You know, I'm still <laughs> working okay. on it. You know, I've only been here a week, so. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, Masulan, Masulan. Masulan, okay. So at this time point, what you do you th do you think you know, since you said you're doing all right, uh, what what else can we do? We maintain our uh, uh, you know prevention uh, program and you know and just follow that all the way through because the way it looks right now, the numbers of uh, positive every week now is dropping drastically. It's dropping, you know. Uh, it seems like you know that uh, COVID-19 flu is going to be. Uh, out of the way pretty soon. What do you think? You think it's going to go away pretty soon? I don't think we should think of it as going away. I think it's going to be more and more manageable as I long see. as we don't get any more surprises. But this virus keeps surprising us. You know, who would have guessed that Omicron would have come and that it would have been so transmittable? You know, in New York, you know, I do testing for TV shows. Okay. And we would have maybe one, you know, out of out of a thousand tests per week, we'd have one or two positives per week. I and then when Omicron came in the first week of December, we started having 30, 40, 50, yeah. uh, like literally in one week. I see. Um, now the good news is that if you're vaccinated and if you have a booster, uh, you're really unlikely to get sick, sick requiring hospitalization. And what we've seen in New York and which, what I've seen here in my brief time is that uh, it's really unvaccinated people that require hospitalization. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think if there's one very practical message, it's be vaccinated okay. and get your booster when you're eligible, okay? okay? Because, you know, I think the concept here is that you're most protected about two weeks after, after your injection. Right. And so you want to, as your immunity starts to fade a little bit, you want to get that booster when you can, really. I see. So I think that's one very practical take-home point um, that everybody can, can understand. Okay, that, that brings up a next question. Uh, how often are we going to be subject to take the booster or additional shot? You know, it's hard to say, but I would say it's probably going to be either every six months or every year, the way people get flu vaccines uh, every year, at least in the United States. It's going to be, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least every year maybe every six months. 
But, you know, the, this, this thing is following the natural progression of infectious diseases, which is to become more contagious but less deadly. And this is what we're seeing with Omicron. Okay. The public health right now, there's uh, announcements going on right now asking people to come and get their annual flu shots. You know, uh, yes. is, is it necessary that we get the flu shots plus the uh, Pfizer and Moderna? Yes, absolutely, because they're two totally different things. Oh. If, you're somebody, if you're somebody who is at high risk for the flu, okay. uh, then you definitely need the flu shot. They're, they're essentially independent okay. vaccines, independent vaccines. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Carrero, can I summarize this in, in, in Palawan? Sure. For our Palawan audience. Okay, I'll go in and I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you, Dr. Carrero. So long, as you all know, another name, Alex. They call him Alex also. Uh, he's a medical doctor, a surgeon, a MD, specialized in critical care medicine, okay, out of uh, New York. Uh, annually we go to public health and get a flu shot. Uh, flu <laughs> And now we are number one candidate to malaria get the flu shot, the annual flu shot. Okay, now back to you, uh, Dr. Guerrero. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, that was a very good translation. You just missed that one part, which is that, that, that you're my favorite Palawan uh, radio personality. <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure that at some point, uh, you know, you translate that for them so they know, so they appreciate, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, thank you. Sure. Okay, and if anybody have questions out there, please you can call and speak in English or Palawan. We'll, uh, try to summarize or uh, translate uh, your question. So if you uh, uh, have a question to Dr. Guerrero, uh, please call 488-4848 uh, and we'll try to uh, uh, get your question to an uh, appropriate person. Okay. Uh, let's continue on. Uh, can you tell us more about COVID-19, you know, what, how to prepare ourselves for the next, uh, uh, you know, uh, variant? Uh, now there is uh, what we call uh, a, B, two, uh, th again, these are fake news out of uh, social media. Uh, A, B, two uh, variant uh, that is going on right now. Is it true? Is it for real? Uh, and if it is, uh, how do we protect ourselves for not getting it? Well, you know, it doesn't matter what it's called, but this thing is going to keep mutating. Yeah. It's going to be a part of our lives, and we're just going to learn to live with it. Oh, I see. Uh, and I think it's just going to get, I think it's going to get milder and milder until it's like a cold that we yeah. just manage. You know, we get the cold, people get colds all the time. Yeah. Well, maybe not in Palau, but in the in where it's cold, we get the cold all the time. Okay. So I think it's going to be something that we, we end up living with, honestly. Um, but for now, it's still something that uh, for vulnerable people, it, it, it could, could be deadly. It's something we need to take seriously. And uh, you need to protect yourself with a vaccine and a booster. That's right. Because, you know, this is how I feel. Well, I'm not a medical doctor. You know, I, I predict many things I, I, I say are prediction. Uh, I think uh, this disease uh, is traveling around the world looking for those people, just like a, a birth, lo lo looking for a nest uh, uh, to lay eggs, right? So if you don't have your shots up to date, then the virus will get you. So what are we saying now is that it's going to be here with us for a while, so... Uh, by all means, please go get your shots, update your shots, and, uh, and that way it can help you if you get uh, COVID-19 and you don't get really sick like other people that didn't get their shots. Is, can I say that? Uh, right? Yeah, that's, say that right? that's, a, that's, very, that's a very good assessment, yeah. Okay, because, you know, like, if you haven't got your shot, you know, that virus is going to be looking for you to lay eggs or to, to sleep. 
Uh, and if you don't have your shot, you're the number one candidate to get that uh, COVID-19. So that's how we look at it and, and convince ourselves to go out there and, and update our shots, you know, and uh, practice preventive uh, measures. And that way we don't get sick. But if we do get sick, you know, we, we don't die unless you have a prior uh, uh, health issues and then you probably die. But more likely here in Palawi, only six people out of uh, 20,000, you know, uh, still alive. The six died because they had previous uh, uh, health issues. Right. And I think you guys have done an incredible job of getting vaccinated. Now yeah. it's time to continue that excellent work and get boosted. Oh, okay. since we bring up the variant, we have to talk about the reinfection. Uh, so maybe now is the, the time, uh, since uh, Dr. Guerrero is here, yeah. uh, to ask uh, about, so he has mentioned the uh, BA.2, uh, uh, the new the, um, Omicron variant. So uh, what is the potential for reinfection uh, of once you've had COVID? Uh, people assume that once you have COVID, um, uh, you are immune, uh, and how oh. how, uh, how correct is that? Okay, yeah. so 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 actually having COVID is in many ways similar to being vaccinated. Okay, yeah. your immunity your immunity lessens over time, mm. so it's unlikely that you would be reinfected within ninety days. Mm. Uh, it's more likely as you go down as as you keep go as you keep going. Mm. So maybe at six months. That's why it's important to stay boosted to stay as immune as possible. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So what about the reinfection of once you've had Omicron uh, BA.1, what's the chances of getting uh, infected with uh, BA.2? So what we know is from our experience with, um, you know, alpha to delta and delta to Omicron, and we know that it's possible, but if you do get reinfected, it's very mild. It's very mild. So so it doesn't stop you from getting uh, infected with a different variant, yeah. but the severity lessens. Yes, but remember, you can still spread it, yeah. right? So the real problem here, you know, the, if, if everybody who had COVID, as soon as they got it, turned red and sweaty and had a fever, then this thing would stop, right? Because nobody would go near them. But that's not what happens. So for two days before you even have symptoms, you're shedding virus and spreading it all over the place, mm. you know, before you have a fever, before you have anything. So that's why it's important to really practice social distancing and, and mask wearing and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, it's going, uh, so we can say it's going to be here for how long, we don't know. But in the m meantime, you know, protect yourself by uh, practicing uh, prevention. Yeah, exactly. Sure, sure. You know, the stuff that the stuff that the stuff that's obvious now. You know, sanitizing your hands, six feet apart, avoiding large gatherings, wearing your mask. Okay. Very okay. very simple things. Very simple things. Yeah, we gotta call doctor. Hold on. I didn't hear you today. Ah, uh, and the Okay. So you again I get a mother and Pfizer. El three shot and the two booster and three shots and why say? Oh and the three shot and the booster. A booster. A question regarding Mulwa say. Give him a booster. Oh, a I got your question. Okay, that is the uh, here's the question. That um, a person just called said that uh, he received uh, first and second and third shot. Does he need the booster to go along with those three shots? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. Not yet. It's likely that in the next few months, yeah, he'll require a, a second booster. Yeah. It's likely we're all going to require a second booster, but not yet. Okay. 
So we're going to wait for CDC to tell us, uh, give us a green light and then... Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's going to come. It's just how long it's going to take. Okay. That's the question. Okay. Caller, can I understand? Can I understand? Can I understand? El al sub tomo mo do o ay sergida waritel o ay sem lamo time a CDC o ay sir e gida e to ay sir o sem lamo time e tirgem lang ma trinciat sa tigito mo la ergi e koro ko mo rensa radio because social media is a radio and television broadcasting all of this information so please em em stay tuned mo rensa gil to ko to bdra IOC e tira mo la gil information ra CDC that's it ya ang ode at ang can you understand Tu lihat di dalam maklumat keluar saya, al suku mah ada yang lupa booster, and dia al bol time for another booster. But if somebody got their third dose, then they should get a booster five months out or sell the third dose or tier. Okay. So saya kira dulu sahaja yang kita last week. Yeah. So some people, some people, you know, this. I'll try not to confuse people, but some people get three shots. And then a booster is indicated. Mm -hmm. It's usually very elderly, immunocompromised people. Maybe you've had a kidney transplant. Those people require a booster in five months after their third dose. Oh, get it. But it's confusing because some people say third dose, they mean the booster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Here's another call from Niwal. Ali, you will go to the Gabon, Niwal. for prevention of PA2 malubeng ng diabom sa rabi A2 tila kita karim. Bukod niya Q-tip sir kaya meron kong pinating kami meron kong kukukering meron kong kumalong irong sim ko kaya sila ang listeners sir kaya eh? Okay. 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 Dr. Guerrero, here's the question from Baba Bao. He wants to know if he needs a booster for BA.2 variant. That he already got the booster. He's a J3. I know him because he's a good friend of mine. He's, he received J3 Johnson & Johnson, and then he's got a booster for Johnson & Johnson. Maybe last week he did that. Now he wants to know if he needs a booster, if he's you know, uh, subject to get a booster to prevent him of get, getting uh, BA.2. Uh, so, you know, when we talk about vaccines, we need to just think about it as COVID-19. There isn't an Omicron vaccine or an A2 vaccine or a Delta vaccine. Yeah. It's really COVID-19. So if there is another variant, just like there was with Omicron, right. you know, the, the booster is your best protection against it. I so see. if he's boosted, then he's, he's as good as you can be for right now. Okay, okay. All right. I understand. Okay, so you know he—that's the guy we do a show every Tuesday and, and, and Friday. So I'm gonna call him up and explain to him exactly, uh, not to worry about the uh, BA.2. Okay, let's continue. We got about 20 more minutes to go. Then I'll give you a call at 4848. Ask your question. Mora Doctor Carrero, maluben Ritter, maluben Edol, tirge git tirge tira umura argi tira algesus. Uh, so, 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 okay? Uh, let's continue on, uh, Rite. Um, so, uh, Dr. Guerrero, maybe you can uh, talk a little about infection control, the importance of uh, uh, limiting uh, traffic in and out of the hospital. I know we've got a, a lot of complaints when we uh, try to implement the uh, a lockdown at the hospital of allowing people in, and maybe you can touch on that sure. a little bit. Sure. So, you know, when when a loved one's in the hospital, the nicest thing is for 
a lot of people to come visit them. It feels good when you're sick to have all your friends and family come visit, bring flowers and cake and everything. Mm -hmm. But those, that is, in, with COVID-19, that's just straight up dangerous, okay? Because you're introducing people from the outside that may or may not be tested, who may or may not be carrying COVID, and now you're bringing it into a hospital filled with people who are, who are, already, si who are already sick, either from COVID or from other things. So it's the worst thing you could, you could do. So, you know, I think it's important for people to appreciate that the hospital is, is a sacred place and we try to keep it as, as isolated as possible. So if you want to come visit a loved one that's in the hospital mm. and we say, I'm sorry, you can't, we're only limiting it to one person and that person has to wear an N95 and a gown and we have to test them and do all these things. Just don't give us a hard time because we're doing it to protect your loved one and to protect the community. Mm. Okay? Okay. I got another question for you. Um, I don't know if it makes sense, but uh, when we, we're watching the war in Ukraine and when you look at the people, they're running for their lives, and I didn't see... We'd, you don't see anybody wearing masks. Do they have a, the COVID-19 problem like we do here in, in the West? I think if you're running for your life from <laughs> explosions, you're probably not worrying about infection control. Okay. I'm just going to guess. They're, you're just thinking about what's going on right now. I think they have COVID just like the rest of Europe. Yeah. Uh, but I think they have other priorities. They have, they have even more short-term priorities than uh, getting sick with COVID right now. Yeah, okay, because I see Russians also that they don't wear masks. I think they're a threat to win the war or something. Anyway, next question. Uh, you can call again at 488-4848 and ask your question, and we'll address it to appropriate person, okay? Okay. Yes, so today was Pfizer. PCC cafeteria. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Tuesday, March 1st, I will move to the PCC cafeteria. Okay. I will move to the PCC cafeteria. I will move to the PCC cafeteria. I will move to the PCC cafeteria. Okay. I will move to the PCC cafeteria. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the PCC cafeteria. Okay. Caller, are you online? Oh, oi. Cabo. Padu, I will move to the PCC cafeteria. Mm. <laughs> Te dimos mer, te dimos mer, alumno, vamos a hacer te la tiran lo tiran los me el mada angila a chat. Ya, a ser un gorne va a ser. Tenía a vaccin. Hoy. El arte la mo COVID, el tío de este va a ser un día, tira mal usar stick de vivo así. El arreglo la mamá vaccin. Hoy. Era el arma la mo COVID. Okay. Se 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 ahora eh esto listo. ตะกอบเนี่ยนะครับคือชุดเชื่อมมันเป็นเงินวัคซีนเปลี่ยนยิ่งกันเปลี่ยนสไปโปรตีนไอ้กันลำดับตัวนี้มีรูปเปลี่
right, the, right. the Ministry of Education is, is putting out. And but it, is, it really is safe for the children. It's yeah, very yeah. safe for the children. And of course, we got to follow that. When they come home from school, tell them to go. First thing they do, go into the bathroom and wash their hands. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and make sure that when they go outside, you know, like going to school, wear their mask. All right? Right. Okay. Right. Uh, and, and, and because education is very important. Okay. And save <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, mega. Okay, uh, the caller said if we continue to get these boosters and additional sh shots, it's not going to hurt or have a side effect, uh, you know, in our our system. It really shouldn't. It really should not. And the risk of COVID far dramatically, maximally outweighs whatever minimal risk there is okay. to, to being vaccinated. All right. Okay, this is uh, the time you've been asking for the MD, so we got an MD right here. So call 488-4848 because we only got about uh, six more minutes and then we end our program. Um, do, you have, do you want additional questions, uh, Eriter? Um, uh, uh, questions will uh, ask her. Uh, um, digo do goram la mo tatsay gal. I think ako na mo tatsay gal roguay gay dito wala reinfection, ma uh, boosters, ma infection control, ma uh, oh, ma oh, ma ela ba ito ni la kaya recruit talo continue tuligra a schedule of vaccination. Please. Oh, oh. So uh, a Wednesday. Eng bira kalngarnya Pfizer lomrus rati gaygi diel al ngara mikakarel ngal kama five and years old and up emorngi rasi gigi del PCC cafeteria. Adur se eng morngi omral mablilio kalngarngi trigel do for their second dose. Magyalngi tetiro maklat kertiro ase mautakang al mema gigi del second dose kamiura ablilio. Okay. Okay. Kwa bo kolir. appointment <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Um, oye, Okay. Okay. Well taken. Okay, we got five more minutes. You still have a question or questions? You can call us for eight eight forty eight forty eight. Uh, because uh, I think this is the only time you can talk to uh, with uh, Dr. Guerrero. 
and we're not going to see him again. He, you know what? He just made a comment before we start the show that he, he you know, he enjoy watching us, uh, especially at Diaz show. You know, so I, I, I want to know, Doctor Guerrero, if you have somebody nearby to translate for you, or you can understand what we're talking about in our uh, show. Well, I can just tell by your energy and your uh, charisma <laughs> exactly exactly what you're talking about. It's like watching an opera okay. in a language I don't know. I just yeah. get it. You know, I just get it. Yeah. You have to have a, a lot of uh, sense of humor in order to understand and enjoy. It's more like entertainment, you know. But at the same time, you know, I bring in some educational program that uh, is good for the people, you know. Some people get mad at me and get pissed off and then uh, they'll get over it type of attitude, you know. But in the meantime, we haven't uh, this COVID going on right now, so we need some sort of uh, entertainment, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay, let's get this last call. Excuse me. Okay, Thank you, everybody. I'm going to give the microphone to either Ritter or Adol to say good night to everybody and also say good night to uh, Dr. Guerrero and uh, uh, and Mike if he's still there. Okay. Uh, Masulang, Diaz. Masulang. <laughs> okay. Masulang. <laughs> okay. Next week, Monday, 7 o'clock. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, they will let you leave. I'm not obvious. Oh, 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 most of us. Come to get your word daily updates. I'll do the top of the Monday, most Friday. Oh, oh. El al week, I'm gonna start till the middle ring it up. Monday, Wednesday, most Friday. Okay. Oh, oh, what I get still till the minister of travel update. I'll read your at Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. Give out the middle ring daily updates again. Okay. Give out. Okay. Too long. Yeah. Thank you for being with us around the world, New York, California, and Hawaii. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Alfonso Diaz. Bye bye now. We'll see you next time. Oh, dear.